Welcome to Bleed Jekyll channel. Today I have another Thomas and Friends stay and play Spiral Tower tracks with Thomas this time. It comes with a die-cast metal Thomas and it's portable. It's pretty much like a cookie jar. But it's a tower. As you can see, it comes with three in a series. I have all the three. I already reviewed these two in my please check out channel make sure to check those here you can see they come with uh, cool tracks very colorful and sticker as well to give it a really cool background and today i'm going to show you the third one so that comes with thomas and this one comes with diesel the other one comes with percy the well, first one diesel this one percy and today get ready for looking at the Thomas uh, for watching the Thomas and the tank engine Dicus metal one in the tower setting all right all right look at this how it looks as you can see Thomas is coming down the track and here you can see all the tracks so many of the you know towers stacked together and that's how it looks and once you it's like three towers, that's how it will look. Here you can see how Thomas is. Look at this. So this is portable set, it includes Thomas. Here's a Thomas picture, raised down the track. And it comes with a cool stickers. So let me go ahead and unbox it. So it comes with, with a sticker and an instructional manual. So here you can see the sticker that came with it is kind of scary owl two owls and one red bird as a sticker i wish the instructional manual could be colorful one and it comes with dark brown tracks so let me go ahead and put them together it comes with the diecast metal thomas the tank engine we already have one outside and this is the newly redesigned one this is a very cool box so let me go ahead and show you the tower setting so this tower i mean like this tower that comes like a cookie jar has really cool setting you can see it's like forest setting lots of so wood lots of you know trees you can see tall trees wow look at this pine wood lots of pine trees you can see and here comes the track and wherever you see, uh, this is where you put the sticker. Look, this is how it looks after you put the sticker. It looks really cool, huh? Well, now is the time to put the track around the tower. We are done as you can see in installing the tower. Here the tower goes around the here the tracks goes around the tower. Look at this, how beautiful it looks. It's kind of serpentine. Look at that. So this is how the train will race down the track. Isn't it cool? Alright, now it's time to show you how the Thomas the tank engine performs here. Here you can see Thomas, the newly redesigned one. As you know, it is the Dicus metal one. So Thomas starts from there. Let's go, Thomas. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Let's try a couple more times. Let's go, Thomas. Okay, it will be interesting to see how far Thomas goes. As you can see, we added uh, part of, you know, tracks here from another playset. And let's go ahead and see how far Thomas goes when it drays down. Alright, let's go Thomas. Oops. Let's go ahead and try again. Alright, let's go Thomas. Yeah. 
Yeah, I noticed one thing. Thomas has a lot of fur, so we can add a couple more, you know, tracks that it, that is straight. So if you have lots of uh, taken clear tracks, you can just add them. Like the way I did, I made a circle here. But it might not come all the way if it's not straight. But we can try it. Let's go ahead and try it. Alright, so it will be interesting to see if Thomas goes backward as well. So I'm trying backward. Wow, Thomas comes backward as well, which is cool. So let me go try one more time. My son likes to try Thomas and other tank engine, other engines backward as well. Uh, this time he didn't land on the wheels, the first time he did. So let me go ahead and try the newly redesigned Percy. When it comes to die-cast metal newly redesigned, it's not a lot of difference you guys know. It's mostly the front look, especially the magnet. Magnet of the newly redesigned one is way bigger. I don't know why it is way bigger. The only probable, you know, reason might be so it gets connected with the wooden one. That's what I think if you think. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this. Why is the magnet way bigger than the size of Thomas or size of the engines? So let me try with Percy and let's go ahead and see if Percy gets connected with Thomas once he's when, uh, once he's races down the track. All right, time to see Percy's performance. Oh, just a little bit. Okay. Okay, let me go ahead and try one more time. I tried to make it convenient for, for Percy. Yeah, I think I should try a couple more times. Alright, let's see this time. Uh -oh. Okay, this time I'm going to try it. Uh, if Thomas gets connected with Percy, once it races down the track. Oh, that was very close. And Tom Thomas landed on the wheels, which is cool. Let's go ahead and try. I believe you guys will like the setting of this uh, picture of the box here. And you can see in a wood, the tower stands. It's not like out of nowhere. There are some, you know, natural stones on which the tower stands. And you can see how this wood looks. And Thomas is racing down. Once it's finished, you can see the ex expansion that is more like a train. I mean train track, which is cool, huh? You can see Percy is standing up there. And we're going to add Thomas and we're going to see how they both together races down the tower. Uh oh, this time both of them fail. Here goes Thomas down. Oops. Here comes Percy. Oh, Percy landed on the wheels. If I had a straight one, it would definitely go further. Let me go ahead and try a straight one. So let's try with diesel. Let's go diesel. <laughs> Uh-oh, I have to add something here, like I said. As you can see, I finally got some extension, which is straight, so let's go ahead and try that. Oh, isn't that cool? Did you see how far Thomas came? Now is the time to try with Percy, and we're going to see if Percy gets connected with Thomas. Yeah, look at that. Percy got connected with Thomas, but it should be both uh, the newly redesigned one, huh? Now in the left corner, 
at the top left corner you can see diesel so let's go ahead and try diesel oops the diesel fell okay let's go ahead and try one more time with diesel yay diesel got connected with percy and percy got connected with thomas look at this now you can see all the new one i mean newly redesigned one here you can see thomas and percy then diesel they're both coming now Ooh. all three are coming now all right thank you viewers thank you for watching please check out channel make sure to subscribe for more and i i in the comment section, I'm going to put a link. Check that link. Thank you again for watching. This is Mike Mozart of the Toy Channel and Jeepers Media on YouTube with the snottiest toy ever made. It's Talking Gooey Louie the Game. That's right, they made a deluxe version of Gooey Louie. Louie's brains and eyes pop when the special gooey gets picked. This really tickles. Pick me a winner. This is so gross. Oh my lord, and here he is. This is a deluxe version of an earlier one that was flat. In this one, you put the gooeys, which are his snots, into his nose right there. This one, his eyes pop out. And why is his head open and empty? Because his brain pops out of his head. And these gooeys go in his nose like this. You shove all the gooeys in there. And there's one gooey attached to a special trip mechanism. So let's close that. You push his eyes in. And now you insert his brain. Oh my god. And the worst part is, you turn it on and it makes noise. Loud, obnoxious noise. By this switch on the bottom. And all it does is that noise. Now, if you were in an apartment with thin walls, what would the neighbors think is going on the next apartment? I mean, really. So anyway, let me pick a couple. Let me pick a couple of gooeys. Hope I don't make him sneeze. Oh, I got one gooey. And the kids take turns pulling gooeys out until he pops. Which gooey will make him explode? Oh, maybe that's it. Oh, he blew his brains out. He sneezed his brains out. Actually, his eyes popped out and the door opened. The fun game of Gooey Louie. Do you think this is win or fail? It's actually a lot of fun to play this stupid thing. And I love the deluxe talking version with the eyes that pop out and the brain when he sneezes his brains out. But what I don't think is kind of um, odd here is his gooeys. Why does he have his tongue out? Is he eating them and he thinks they're tasty? So do you think Gooey Louie is win 